Hi, I'm Tan and I'm currently travelling Australia in my home on wheels. Welcome to the new DigiDirect series where I take you on the road testing out the best products in the most remote locations. If I can use them out here, you're sure to love them over there or wherever it is you decide to call home. From my backyard to yours, jump on in and let's hit the road. I'm gonna get straight into it with this one. Today, we are testing out this little guy. It's the Fitbit Tracker. Now, you've probably heard about these and you might even own one yourself. This one, this is the first time I've worn one of these. Now, I've got a pretty healthy daily routine, but since I put this thing on, my world has opened up to so many different levels. I am obsessed and I cannot wait to show you its features. But as you've probably guessed, this is not a stock standard product review. We are gonna put this to the test in the middle of Australia here. Now, have you guessed where I am? That's right, if you've guessed it, today I am taking you on the incredible Kings Canyon Rim Walk. Let's get going. Before we get started, I just want to point out that banging you can hear, it's not a sound effect. It's actually my beating heart. I put my mic receiver in my bra to keep it safe and it's picked up my heartbeat. Just think of it as a backing track and know that I am working extra hard for my fitness today. That might be the only one you see out there. I can't keep walking back and forth to the camera. We're gonna get on with this Fitbit. Let me tell you a little bit about this one that I'm wearing. I've got the Fitbit Charge 5. Now, I put it on seven days ago, so I've been tracking my stats for the last week uh, just to build up some information to show you. Now, a bit of advice. You want to charge up your Fitbit and connect it to your phone before you do your first hike. I was actually in Uluru a week ago and I was gonna do a tester on the base walk, so connected my Fitbit and if any of you had been to Uluru, you will know that reception is really patchy. Unfortunately, I don't have those impressive stats to show you on my Fitbit, but we're all charged up, we're all synced up, so don't make the same mistake I did. Sync up your Fitbit before you go on your first hike. This is the first part of the trail. There's about 500 stairs behind me. Everyone says this is the hardest part of the trail, but the rest is pretty rewarding, so it's worth it. Now, I've tracked my heartbeat and I'm currently at 120. Let's see how much my heart races going up. Let's tackle these stairs. All right, I think we're a quarter of the way up. My heart's thumping already. over halfway let's see if I can check 131 heartbeat is at 131 let's keep going just taking a quick seat here catch my breath show you guys the view Pretty stunning up here, huh? I can feel my heartbeat already starting to drop. We're at 120, 118. Yeah, but we're not done with those stairs yet. <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay, we made it over those stairs and we're at the top to the most spectacular lookout. Check out this view behind me. So there was a signpost just on this ledge here saying that this rock, you're standing at a piece of history. These rocks have been here for so long, but in time, no greenery was to be seen. So check out all the plants um, that have evolved over time. It also recommends this is a good place to have a rest, catch your breath and have a drink of water. 
the rest of the walk is at a much more leisurely pace. My Fitbit just uh, buzzed my wrist then and I looked down and I had achieved some zone minutes. So I've currently reached 230 zone minutes. Uh, I love uh, that the Fitbit, it's kind of like your little workout buddy. Um, when you hit some milestones in your fitness, uh, it gives you a little celebration. Well done, you've reached this target. It acts as a cool little travel buddy when you're traveling or doing hikes like this on your own. So I've made it to a part of the hike that was made famous by the 1994 film Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. They hiked to this part, now, now it's named Priscilla's Crack, and I thought it was a good spot to tell you another feature on the Fitbit app. So if you go to your Discover tab, you'll find a whole heap of workouts there. Now I've tried to find one that is most fitting, and the one that I've come up with is Sassy Strut Dance Cardio. So let's give it a go, and by the sound of that helicopter there I might just have an audience let's get dancing so we're gonna get a little flirty and we're gonna be a little girly but most of all we are going to strut it out cue that music snap it out two three low low high hip pat feel it up queen walk feeling cute other side two hands now now let it down. All right, we're gonna catch our breath. There you go. Really feel it. Let it out. Nice. Right now, that's it. You're done. We'll see you next time, Fit Fit Fam. I can't say that was a dream of mine, but hey, when on Kings Canyon, you gotta pull out your inner Priscilla. I just got my second buzz of the hike. I have currently reached 10,000 steps, so that's another cool feature. Fitbit will alert you and celebrate you when you've reached 10,000. Uh, the thing is, that's 10,000 steps for my entire day. I had done about 4,000 steps already this morning, so we've still got a bit to go until we make 10,000 on the rim wall. I'll have to be my own cheerleader for that celebration. I'm taking another little rest along the hike and I'm gonna tell you about my favorite feature of the Fitbit app. So it's the sleep score and this is really cool. So if you wear your Fitbit to bed, it's gonna track your sleep. So it's gonna track the amount of time you are awake, your REM, the light sleep and your deep sleep. I find this really interesting. So I've got to admit, I don't have the best sleep in the van. So my bed width fits my height, but I still find I cramp my legs up. Also in the van, you hear a lot more noises. So I'm waking up constantly during the night. Now this is what's interesting. So I had 10% awake time, 17% REM, 65% was light sleep, and only 8% was deep sleep. Now I'm hoping to improve the quality of my sleep in the van and with Fitbit and sleep score, I can work my way towards a perfect night's sleep. All right, we've reached about halfway. I reckon I've done about three kilometers. I'm gonna put all my stats up there for you. I can see that my heartbeat is rising again. Uh, quite a few steps back there. There's such a great view on this lookout here. You can see a between the canyon there, all the cars parked. So that's where we started. Uh, it's a fair hike down and we've got to get back down this way. This is where we're coming down. So we've got more to go. Let's keep going. A 
have reached a beautiful spot along the trail. This is the Garden of Eden. So over the years, the water has collected at the base of the canyon and created this beautiful oasis. Now, it's the perfect spot to show you another cool feature in the Fitbit app. So if you go to your mindfulness section, there's a whole heap of exercises you can do for meditation and mindfulness. And right now, the five minutes to find peace sounds perfect for right here. Welcome, my name is Jade, here to guide you through a really short but sweet meditation. Find a comfortable seat. We cannot change what's happening around us, but we can change what's happening inside of us. It starts with your breath. Namaste. All right, I love this Fitbit and I want you to love it too. Here are my top five reasons you should buy a Fitbit. This is Tam's top five. It has mindfulness meditations built into the app. So all you need to do is hit play and sit back and relax to the guided meditations. It will also track your heartbeat and you can log how calm you're feeling in a single session, all the way guiding you to a stress-free life. Number two, the sleep score. I told you this was my favorite and I absolutely love it. It's so cool to find out how you're tracking during your sleep. Number three, is the move reminders. This is really cool, especially for someone like me who spends hours on a laptop. So when Fitbit notices that you haven't moved, it'll buzz your wrist, send you a reminder to move your body. I think this is amazing and it's exactly what us workaholics need the most. So number four is phone alerts. Now, this is not the Fitbit watch, it's the Fitbit tracker, but it still has the time on it and you can still connect it to your phone to get phone alerts. So you can receive text messages and calls here. The other day, this came in super handy. My phone was on silent and I received a phone call on my Fitbit from one of my favorite people in the world. And I'm so happy I had the Fitbit on because I would have missed that amazing call. And number five, this Fitbit is an all-round tracker. So normally you would need 10 or 15 apps to do all the jobs that this one Fitbit does. It's all in one place. So you can track your water intake, your food, your weight, your health metrics, calories, your period for the ladies, workouts, and sleep score. So for someone who puts a lot of pressure on themselves to use their time wisely, everything is in the app. So I can check back over my stats and know that I've achieved everything that I wanted to achieve that day. So good on you Fitbit, you know I love you and I hope you guys love it too. That's it guys, we are done. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And if you're ever in the area, please add the Kings Canyon Rim Walk to your list. You will not regret it. And for those that are playing at home, I just got the buzz that I reached my 10,000 steps. So what a way to finish the hike. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure.